Good morning and welcome to this video interview as part of the Leaders in Security series from the International Security Journal. I'm John Cowling, your host, and today I'm joined by Per Johansson, the General Manager of Bosch Middle East. So welcome, Per. Thank you very much for having me. Could you explain to us your role at Bosch? Sure. So I'm uh, the General Manager of Bosch in the Middle East and uh, covering all our operations in the region. Um, I'm here since uh, almost three years uh, already. Time is flying. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges that you see within the, the CCTV camera industry? Of course, um, during the pandemic, uh, we went through a lot of challenges uh, uh, as an industry and uh, everything from logistics uh, to component shortage um, was a general problem in the industry, affecting the, the, the whole industry at all. Uh, of course, we try to handle that in a, in a very pragmatic way and being a big uh, uh, group of operation, uh, we made use of that from everything from automotive to power tools to, to get the, the right components. So we managed it in a quite well way, I would say. So it sounds like you have a, a broad enough and diverse enough organization to support your sector. Um, so how do you think that some of these solutions that Bosch found to these challenges continue you continue to allow Bosch to lead the industry as we sort of work through COVID and all those supply chain challenges? It, it has always been a big benefit for us uh, to have um, everything from research and development uh, to logistic uh, to see that from a broader, broader scope of uh, the whole of, uh, organization. And of course, when it comes to video analytics, for example, we have research and development uh, sharing from the automotive business uh, to the security industry, which gives us enablement of more resources than many others. Uh, if we talk about this um, video analytics and this research and, and development, could you explore that topic a little further around how you share information across um, the Bosch um, different sectors or the different business units and how this benefits your team? Basically, when you look at a lot of uh, different business sectors we are in it today, it's all get connected. And uh, also the cars has been for long uh, very much connected and you have um, detection and um, driving assistant made out of cameras and a lot of video analytics is going on there. And that is, of course, um, a massive, a big industry itself. So if we can take part of that uh, research and development into the security industry, we get very reliable um, uh, video analytics into the security field of business. So, and of course that industry is much bigger than the security field. So we have a huge advantage there, also from a reliability and a quality aspect. So that advantage you talked about leads into trends and understanding the future. So what are some of your, I guess, visions about what's going to be happening in the next five or ten years around the industry? It's a very good question, uh, but we see a lot of uh, predictance. So have the security systems to, to predict what's going to happen. Um, of course, the camera is a vital part of uh, the whole security systems. Uh, what is also going to be a key is the cyber security around that, especially when the security systems and the, the video surveillance go into more cloud-based uh, solution. Uh, the cyber security from an end-to-end -end solution got to be of key importance. So we've talked sort of more generally about challenges and, and trends which sort of affect our sort of global world. How about regionally? Are there any particular regional challenges or trends that, that Bosch is foreseeing or working towards? If I look at the region of Middle East, of course, great opportunities. Fantastic region to be in. Uh, looking at all the mega investments uh, uh, taking place uh, in the 2030 visions, 2033 visions and so on, uh, it's an amazing place to be. And we see a really bright future of high-tech uh, solutions, uh, high-end solutions, and uh, from a quality aspect, it's getting much more in importance. Again, also from a cybersecurity perspective, uh, to the quality in a very rough environment uh, of, of the Middle East. So uh, we see a great potential here. We are very happy to be around and also expand our business here. So some of the growth around quality and these mega projects, um, is Bosch foreseeing that this is going to be more led by industry 
or more, more led by the users? Or how, how, do we, how do you foresee sort of the stakeholder involvement around foreseeing the, the, the trends in the future? I, I think it's um, as a, a market uh, circumstance, it's, it's both sides. So the, the user, the customer, the integrator, we as a producer and manufacturing company, we will all drive uh, this, this market in an aspect. And I think what happens now is that many companies, very many end users look at the total cost of ownership and that is uh, of key importance. That is how we always believe. Um, and uh, the trust in the system when it comes to security systems is, is of key importance. Um, so you have to have the reliability and if you have product that is failing, the cost of replacing and, and doing the, the adjustment. And of course, also from a trust perspective, if someone is hacking your system or get interfere into your system, uh, it's a lot of cost. So with that aspect, I think that is the drive of the industry itself to go for high quality solutions. So, so when we look at the end user coming to a, 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 a supplier like Bosch, what are their typical questions that keep them awake at night? What are they most worried about? I, I would say it's depending who you talk to. <laughs> so there's a lot of, this is the interesting part of this uh, industry, that is a lot of different stakeholders in uh, the bigger projects. So you have the security manager, you have the IT part and so on. And what we see an increase is in the cyber security. And to have independent certificate that secure the cyber security part of the solution. Not only about the device itself, that is important and vital factor, uh, but it should be from an end-to-end -end solution. And that is something I, I, I definitely see it as an increase of an aspect of importance. So when we talk about this end-to-end -end solution and, and, and the user requirements, where does the regulatory requirements fall into this? And how do you deal with all the different jurisdictions you have to deal with here in the Middle East? No, I, I, I believe that is a, it's a complicated question to answer because it's depending on the system set up. But what you see very often is that it goes from isolated systems, maybe a dedicated network to more open platforms. You need to send a video stream to somewhere else. You, you, you would like to collect the data uh, on different stakes. And that is where it gets complicated. So each and every component in a system, if you have a cloud storage or if you have a local storage, it has to be secured by standards. And that is at least what we are uh, expecting to be more and more important. So what trends do you expect in the foreseeable future to have the biggest impact on the industry? Generally, uh, the security systems and the, the video industry uh, will get into the power of predict. So being powered by the system to predict what's going to happen. I think that is uh, also our theme of a, a roadshow. We call it power to predict, but it's really how we see the future uh, go into uh, not only predicting what's going to happen, but also predictive uh, maintenance and to really understand what's going to happen before it happens instead of getting the alert when it had happened. Yeah. Look, wonderful. Thanks again for your time today, Pierre and I wish you all the best of success. Thank you so much for having me. Pleasure to meet you.